Hi everyone, welcome to EPAX 3D. My name is Jesus and today I'll be showing you how to take apart the X10 motor and replace it. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unbolt these four screws here and for that you'll just need a 2.5 millimeter hex key. Alright, so once you have all four bolts unscrewed, the arm will drop down so make sure you're holding onto that thread rod and you're just kind of letting it drop down slowly. Alright, so that should be fine. So, once done with that, now we're going to take this rod and we're going to th just thread it out of this build arm. When you get to the top, make sure you're holding onto the arm and the threaded rod. Both will come off very, very quickly and could drop. So, don't want to damage anything. Alright, so now that everything's loosened, you can see here the build arm is loose and so is this. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to lay the whole machine on its back so we can easily pull out the motor. Alright, so now that we have the machine on its back, we can go ahead and remove the motor. First things first, you're going to want to unscrew these three screws here. So you can just go ahead and twist this up, allowing the space for the motor to come through. Next, you're going to want to make sure you cut off all of the zip ties so you can free this connector, this 4-pin connector from the main board, and that way you can easily just pull it out without having to deal with any wires or anything, like so. There you are. Alright, so now we have our new threaded rod and motor, so now we're just going to do the reverse. We're going to make sure that this, this bracket is lifted up, and then we're going to slide this straight through, and we're going to go over the top over here, make sure that this is going straight into the carriage here. And then once you've hit the threads, you can go ahead and re-thread the Z motor back in. Now when you're putting the Z motor in, make sure the cords themselves are facing downwards, so towards the back of the machine. So we've already lined up the motor and we've bolted it back in. Now the last thing you need to do is you're just going to need to reconnect it to your main board. And it's very simple, it just goes into this little slot right there. Boom. Z motor and so you're probably going to want to zip tie this back to the other cables just for cable management purposes so the cable doesn't get in the way of anything else but beyond that you should be good to go.